Hi there, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at different ways of uh, getting that hole on your extruder nozzle. A tiny, dinky little hole that we're going to drill using different techniques. Hopefully one of them uh, will work for you. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is with this lathe. Now this lathe is not very big. Uh, that's not a problem. Yoda tells us size matters not and in this case, actually it does. You generally don't want a humongously big lathe, uh, like a 36 by 12 grizzly or something like that. Um, those are just too big for what we're going to do here. So this Harbor Freight 7x10 seven, uh, seven is perfectly fine. And in fact, the smaller the better because we're going to be dealing with a super small drill bit, uh, 0.3 millimeters to be exact. So really, uh, size is crucial here and speed is even more important. We need to go super fast. Now, um, I have this microscope uh, attached with a CCD camera, so we can take a look at what's going on. I'll be tuning into my um, computer screen when that happens, because uh, this camera is really not that good for capturing video. Uh, but let's see what happens. All right, these are some of the tools we're going to use to chuck the drill bit. You can see there's a number 80 drill bit size. Um, we need a little chuck to put on the larger lathe chuck. So here is... The, 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 the lathe chuck and we're going to mount into it the small chuck. This is an import tool, you can find it on, on the web or your local machine chip tool supply. Um, we're mounting the, the small little bit and you know, just, just tighten by hand now, we're going to tighten further as we mount into the lathe. Um, which we're doing now, we're mounting into the lathe, be careful not to bend the little bit, that would be bad. So make sure the taper is fully seated and now it's easier to tighten these the lathe chuck and one final tight into the drill bit it, I'm gonna try two different things here we're gonna have one piece of aluminum and one brass uh, car nut a car nut <clears throat> and um, we're gonna make a hole now at first I tried using a very little amount of drill bit to center it and you can see on the microscope how that looks uh, unfortunately that didn't work as I expected basically the drill bit chatters so what I'm gonna do next is try to use an actual and you can see there is some chatter it's very hard as fast as the lathe is going it's very hard to get it so I'm using a very small uh, center tap not a center tap but a center drill and, and and that helps because it's so stubby that helps remove some piece of the center and it's easier for the drill to follow that and you can remove that afterwards here we're doing it in the acorn nut the acorn nut seem to be easier for some reason and you know go super slowly super slowly here no rush you are not trying to make a million of these a day you're making one or two maybe five for your bodies uh, don't go fast because then you're gonna have to go faster to get another uh, drill bit. This is how it looks. A uh, small hole, uh, apparently 0.3, uh, maybe larger, larger than that. In essence, according to the microscope, uh, we have 0.23 millimeter as radius, so that would be 0.46. And on the other side, we have 0.14, but that's because I laid it afterwards, so that may have helped. Another way uh, that you can do this is with your Dremel. Uh, you would need a, a, a base to mount the Dremel and now you can, it's basically a drill mount and make sure you have a vise that where you can uh, allocate round stuff and be, uh, this thing is not super duper steady so you're gonna have to be even slower with the solution but because the Dremel is going so fast it actually works better uh, the same procedure with the acorn nut and you know, just feel it. If you see that the, the drill bit is bending too much, don't go as fast. Take take a break. Um, that's how it looks. Notice that I'm using a chuck for the Dremel. Okay, so you're gonna use a chuck. And that's pretty much it. Hope this uh, information works for you. Thanks for watching.